So there I was, minding my own business, until I saw the absolute shitstorm that is going on with the Modern Warfare 2 community. What? And I don't want to say I actually hate the Call of Duty community. Did we not learn anything from Advanced Warfare and Ghosts and Infinite Warfare and possibly even Black Ops 4? Have we not learned that, you know, we don't want, we do not want what we got 10 years ago? A lot of people are saying, what happened to a good Oracle of Duty? What happened to V systems and normal perks and uh, footstep audio being quieter? And I don't think people understand it. You guys were complaining about everything being the same. Everybody was like, same shit, different disc with ghosts. Another year, another failure. Same shit, different disc. Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer sucks. How surprising. And Infinite Warfare and Advanced Warfare. Everybody hated how it was the same. And we mass disliked it. It was it, At one point, it was number one most disliked video. And then we've just switched. We switched. We've been absolute hoes, sluts. We've been absolute sluts here towards Activision saying we want what we got before. Why are we switching up like this? I don't understand it. And before you say I'm completely defending a shit game, I will tell you Modern Warfare 2 has some problems. This game right here has issues, the UI has issues, there are some bugs, there are some glitches, there are a couple of terrible maps, there are some terrible choices made, that's fair and well. But this game is a fresh breath of air. Don't understand it, yeah, we, like... People was complaining about how the perks are exactly the same in Cold War, exactly the same in Vanguard. So, they didn't do a Call of Duty Ghost. They didn't fuck up the perk system. They made the perk system better. Now, everyone's on equal playing field. Nobody's starting off with Ghost. So, it encourages people to move about a lot more and not just camp in a corner. Because that was the main issue, remember? Main issue with 2019 was that uh, people would camp in a corner and Ghost was overpowered. This makes Ghost being you know the ultimate perk making it so then by the time the game is about to like is over some people have ghosts and they're not really gonna want to camp at the end of the game how is that a bad thing so then for players who want to be a little bit more aggressive they could be more aggressive and it's not even like footstep audio is that bad it is way better in this game it is so much more quieter in this game and it's so much more noticeable for example i was playing black ops 2 already on my xbox one and footstep audio is non-existent <laughs> Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2, the old one, footstep audio is so non-existent. I don't get how anybody listened to this. And I remember, I used to play Modern Warfare 2 on a TV. I never used to play it with headphones. I had four times to where I've been sneaking up on people, you know, um, by just crouching. And they just haven't heard me. And I do want to say, a lot of criticism the game is getting is somewhat warranted. But... And I know a lot of people are saying this is change for change, just for the sake of it, but that's what we wanted. All these years ago, we were saying we want change, we want something different, we want COD, but with differences and changes. And I feel like that this is one of the best Call of Duties, because this is, this is, it wouldn't be exactly what everybody wants, but this is 10 years later. Why do you want the same game repackaged as a $60 price tag? I don't, I don't, I, 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 I don't understand the mentality in that. That's why when Modern Warfare 2019 came out and everybody bought it, it was a fresh breath of air and everybody said, yeah, that COD was different. I feel like the COD games are taking a lot of strides of the Battlefield games and I think that's something one to really get because you don't really see the Battlefield community up in arms and always angry with the exception of 2042 and Battlefield 5, right? Just make the game as it was, bigger, better and some fundamental changes that just make the game different. You could tell Battlefield 3 is different from Battlefield 4, but you could see where the similarities between 3 and 4 is. Battlefield 4 is bigger, it's better, it's more refined, and it's got way more plus all these new additions, right? And Modern Warfare 2022 is Modern Warfare 2019, bigger, better, uh, more refined, and tweak to exactly how the game was meant to be played. Modern Warfare 2019 was used and abused. And one of the fair criticisms about the game is that it's lacking content. It is. It's not good that they want to release a game. Have 
well, really nine maps. Let's not even call it 11 because one we can't play because of a copyright issue. And then the other ones, they had to like fight legal battles because they stole locations. You know, that's fair criticisms, you know. And I like some of the maps. I don't like some of the maps. Where you guys are criticizing the game is where you would normally complain, you know. Everybody in Call, Call of Duty... Everybody in the Call of Duty community, once upon a time, would say, oh, as soon as I run around the corner, I die because this gun's overpowered and this is that and this is that. Like, I can't get out of spawns and stuff like that. In this game, you don't really have spawn issues. I've had a couple of cases where, you know, somebody spawned right in front of me, but that was just an occasion. This game is slower paced and it's more methodical. Um, you actually have to think. And I think this is what some Call of Duty players don't do. They don't think. And that's why they always think that they know what they want. And they should make just all Call of Duties again. You're not thinking. You're actually not thinking. And these developers have actually put time and effort into making... Okay, cool. With combat scenarios, you may need to think about how you approach to other people. That's why you don't have constant mini-maps. And that's why the gunsmith, you know... As much as you get some cons out of some weapons... If you want to build a weapon a certain way... You're really going to lack in these aspects... That's what makes picking attachments and not having attachments a make or break situation. You don't want to just have something to where, because you bought the game day one, you have an advantage. You have five attachments on your guns, which all makes your guns ten times better than this guy's guns. You don't want to have that massive gap. You want the attachments feeling powerful, but then really having some negatives. So then, you know, you could use that power in its time of need. One thing they improved upon is the levels. Guns used to be level 71 and then that's when you get all the attachments. Now they just streamlined it to just 20 levels on most guns. You get 20 levels. Uh, the camos are easier to get so you can get gold and you know you can achieve completion very much easier and some of your attachments will unlock on other guns. Fair enough some people are a bit mad that you need to use this gun to get other guns and other attachments. And that's a fair criticism. But my counter argument here is that it, one, lets you play the game with all the content that the developers want to give you. B, makes things actually a lot more easier in the long sense. So whilst you're trying out new things, yeah, you're being rewarded for trying out new things. And third of all, it diversifies the meta so nobody will be running around with like AS Vowels 10 years later on. People just thought AS Valing and just free shotting people. I don't understand why the COD community would want to complain about all these changes that the developer made for a reason. I think this game could be summarised as in they're trying to make it a more Milsim game. Being honest, Call of Duty has completely changed. And this Call of Duty is really more like a Milsim than it is a traditional Call of Duty. It's still got Call of Duty aspects but it's took more of a realistic approach. Same as what a Battlefield would game. All right, you could say Battlefield is on more on the Milsim side, but it's still got the arcade side. And I think this is what Modern Warfare has done. And the reason why I don't see an issue with that is because you still have a Call of Duty experience. You have already other games, Rebirth Island, which is basically the new Call of Duty, because that's where all the sweat and that's where all your aggression, all your pushing, all the Call of Duty um, style of gameplay is. It's all on Warzone, and it's free. Yes, is in a different type of game mode, but really and truly, with Call of Duty, what gamers are you really playing? Because whenever they add a new game mode, like uh, like Gunfight, which is an amazing game mode and really and truly deserves its own video, you don't touch it. You don't touch the content. You don't touch the new content that the developers put their hearts and their souls in. And that's why they took a system, you know, unlocking guns and attachments, and they made it in a way of where they introduced you to the new content in a way of you playing the game, and even if you don't like the new content, you still get rewarded for, you know, participating. But nobody's thinking like this. You got Blame Truth sniffing his own cope, cope, you know, he's sniffing his own copium farts, and just not seeing the other side of it, I think that just, it's past his time. Like, have you really and truly tried to play Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2 in its current state right now? regardless of the hackers it's just not what it used to be and that's because you we've all grown up otherwise you would see a lot more people playing modern warfare remastered for the ps4 and the xbox one you would see a lot more players on that game than you would on the newer games you would see a lot more people play black ops 
2 or even just play Black Ops 1 or even any other game you know like people would just play the old games that that's why it has happened in the Battlefield community if you really need a good example more people in the Battlefield community play the older games than the newer one because it's not only about content it's about how the actual game is with Modern Warfare 2 people are going to put down uh, Modern Warfare 1 2019 they're just going to play Modern Warfare 2 they're going to put down Vanguard because even how much content Vanguard has we can all say is shit aesthetically it's worse than MW 2019 and gameplay wise it, it may be a bit more aggressive but you got that Rebirth Island for free why are you paying for that Modern Warfare 2 actually gives you reasons to pay for it and I want to make this as short as possible so I'm definitely going to cut out a lot of the stuff I've said however um, yeah mini announcement I'm actually going to make a, a review a re a review on Modern Warfare 2 one thing it does right and one thing it does does wrong and I'll be honest I've really just wanted to play the game I've completed the story mode I haven't touched co-op because co-op is unfinished it, 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 it is unfinished I probably will touch it before I do my review and currently I've put 12 hours into the multiplayer and I can confidently say this is one of my favorite Call of Duties not because of aesthetically within the graphics and how good and how smooth it is but in just the little design changes they made to not only refine the gameplay but make it more superior than the other Call of Duties trust me I have a lot of hot takes that you guys are not going to enjoy but I have a lot of hot takes I will defend SBMM you heard me I will defend SBMM that, that's, that's how bad my hot takes are so stick around.